have collated some Burmese words that I always often hear, and sometimes I really associate these words to Filipino words. Uh, some for <laughs> sorry, it's like vagina. Also in the Philippines, like pepe, it's like a shortcut for vagina. Sorry. <laughs> nyape or like nya 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 is like right in Burmese but in the Philippines when we say nya it's like mine nya nya in Burmese they call big brother like aku 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 like kui aku kui in the Philippines aku means ako me me Hello mga love Tangedjans! Welcome back to another YouTube video. So Tangedjans, today I will be doing a vlog wherein I will be sharing Burmese words that are also Filipino words. Am I saying it right? But I have collated some Burmese words that I always often hear. And sometimes I really associate these words to Filipino words. Because, yeah, I'm Filipino as well. <laughs> so Tangedjans, before we begin, I just want to share sa inyo that I am done with my uh, Shop J. Dennis J. Joe Marcela collection. So I have uh, raised some funds and I am asking you uh, to cooperate or to just give me suggestions on what uh, online classes should I make. So it's like one or two days probably for Saya J. Dennis Foundation. So instead of uh, donating money and giving food or uh, clothes, I have thought of giving a free education because I want something that would be continuous. I don't want when I give, uh, for example, when we donate food or when we donate clothes, it, it stops there. But when you, when, you, when, you teach, uh, when you teach or share education, I feel that people will learn more. And yeah, so just comment down below and whatever uh, knowledge you want me to teach. But I, have, uh, I will be linking a description down below. And also... Before I begin, I just, I'm having uh, allergies right now. But before I begin, I just want to share to you also that I will be having a fashion show here in Baguio. So it's entitled Bahag Hari for Pride Month. And if you are here in Baguio, I'm inviting you to watch my fashion show happening on June 30. So yeah, now let's go to the video. Go! <laughs> so I already typed the words here in my phone. So... Let's go to the first word. So, bata. So, usually bata, I think, is a name. So, it's my dear friend and dear brother's name. So, his name is Bata Pitain. He's like a screen name. But in, in the Filipino, uh, bata means child. <laughs> like a kid. So, yeah. Bata is, I think, name in Burmese. And bata, here in the Philippines, uh, means kid. Yeah. So, next one naman is... Nyape or like nya 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 is like right in Burmese, but in the Philippines when we say nya, it's like mine. Nya 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 nya. Sa akin, sa kanya, his. Uh, it's a possessive word, so for Burmese also is uh, geno, 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 uh, for male and gendo for, ay jama, jama for female. So in Philippines, nya means his or hers. Yes. And Pepe, like Pepe is left in Burmese, so Nya, then Pepe in uh, in Burmese means uh, left. But in the Philippines, Bebe is like baby, but also in Pepe, Pepe is like uh, some for, <laughs> sorry, it's like vagina. Also in the Philippines, like Pepe, it's like a shortcut for vagina. Sorry. <laughs> and in Bur Burmese, they also have this word, Hala. Tige, hala, hala. Hala is like, huh? Really? But in uh, in the Philippines, when we say hala, it's like, hala, hala. It's like, uh, how do I say? It's difficult to translate in English, but uh, it's like, uh, how do I say? Hala. <laughs> it's like, hala, hala kata, hala, hala. It's like, it's like an expression saying like, oh, something is, it's your fault, something like that. But in Burmese, it's, hala. it's like, really? Hala. Like, hala. Like, did you go to the church? Hala, like that. And next one is nga. So in the Philippines, uh, in in Burmese, uh, nga means five. It's all. It also means nga is like fish. But in the Philippines, nga means nga 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 
means pressing confirmation truly really certainly wow it's like yes really really like it's like a word for us in the philippines like confirming that it is really like for example that's mine akin nga yan like that so in burmese nga means mine Genu- uh, nga means five or fish yeah yeah nga <laughs> another one is okay uh in Burmese, they call Big Brother like Aku, 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 like Kui, Aku, Aku. In the Philippines, Aku means Ako, me, me. And so it's like boys or girls could use it. Ako, Ako bumili. I bought that. Ako ang bumili niyan. So Ako in Burmese is Big Brother. In the Philippines, Ako means me. <laughs> Next one. Mahobu in 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 Burmese mahobu means no in the Philippines mahobu is like mahaba it means long so yeah mahobu 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 in Burmese is no 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 in Philippines mahobu means like mahaba so yeah mahobu is long <laughs> I'm almost done tang agent sorry are you enjoying <laughs> next word naman is in the Philippines uh, you say Ah, uh, in the, in Burmese they say ama, uh, big sister. So ama eh, ama eh, uh, ama balaw le. It's like for for example, you want to buy uh, uh, f- uh vegetables. Ama balaw le. Uh, or we want to say ama ama kwame no. Uh, and uh, uh, big sister, I will go now. So in Burmese they call it like ama. In the Philippines we call it, we say ate or ate or manang like that. But in the Philippines ama means father. So yeah, ama in Burmese means uh, big sister or older sister. In the Philippines, ama means father or a pay. Interesting, right? Okay, last two words. So in Burmese, uh, they also call, uh, they have a name, Bobo. So it, it's a surname of a person who talks too much. So it's a name in Burmese, meaning a person who talks too much. Bobo, yeah. But in the Philippines, Bobo means stupid so like you're so bobo you're so how do you say bobo in ayuniala i think i'm not sure but ayuniala is crazy but bobo in the philippines means stupid yeah and the last word tongue yeah is for this is i'll teach you so in burmese we say tete straight nya is uh, right pepe is left in the philippines when you say tete it means penis <laughs> That's why when I first went to Myanmar, I kept on laughing. Because when they say, te, 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 like that, it means penis. But yeah, I got used to it. Also, in the Philippines, there's a... In Myanmar, there's also a name like Tin. Like Tinjo, like that. So when they... When they because in M- Myanmar, when they say, U is like uh, like Mr. U. Like U Jomar, like that. And they have a name like Tin. Like Tinjo is like the name. So when they say, U Tin, U Tin... <laughs> In Philippines, uh, there's a dialect meaning, again, penis. So yeah. <laughs> so tangyay, just I'm not making fun of the Burmese words or the Ing- or the Filipino words, but I just wanted to share to you that you know somehow Filipino and Burmese words are somehow related. And <laughs> it may be different, but yeah, I just like I uh, wanted to share it to you. Uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, tangyay, and goodbye, tangyay, and kayo zayba ayon Cheers.